time to head home after a long adventurous week. Go back to the channel guys for another video. I am exhausted, I'm roasted, and I'm very tired today. But anyway, yes, welcome to Blackpool North train station. The train station that we had issues getting to the other day. You almost saw the first vlog from Blackpool where there was a bomb scare here the other day. But we're now here in Blackpool North waiting for the train, which is in about 20 minutes. We're heading to Manchester Airport, which we gotta wait then two hours for a flight to get home. But anyway, yes, welcome back to Blackpool. Well, welcome back to Blackpool, goodbye from Blackpool. Uh, before we came to the train station today, I took the kids down to the arcades one last go this morning. And that young man over there hit the jackpot again, like his sister. Uh, he had fun over this morning, hit the jackpot again. Got some footage to show you about that, guys, in a sec. But yes, guys, we're time to head home after an adventurous week here in Blackpool. I am exhausted. I need to go home and get all the washing done and get things ready for football tomorrow. So it's a big day tomorrow for Lewis and I as the welders open up their, well, officially open their brand new stadium tomorrow. They're playing infield, but we're up there already for a family fun day before the game and obviously they're up there as well all day filming the game, taking photos behind the scenes, all the other stuff we're doing football. But tomorrow guys I'm going to be doing a vlog from the ground tomorrow. Um, I want to show you around the ground, I want to show you stuff inside the ground, I want to show you a lot of stuff from the ground. I obviously showed you a couple of clips before in the vlog but I want to show you a little in depth to the ground tomorrow. Um, so yes, yeah, stay tuned for that there. It's going to be a big day tomorrow in field. The Premier League Champions are in town as well, so it's going to be a fun day tomorrow on the vlog. Anyway, we're going to head to the airport here. So before I go to the airport, I'm going to show you some of the footage from this clamp that earlier on. He's sitting over there. Right, dude? With his hair looking like a bee's nest. <laughs> I don't know why I shave my head when I get home. Um, where he won the jackpot in the arcades earlier on, I guess that's what I did the other day. Right, I'm going to go here, so enjoy the footage. Ugh. I can't wait to get home. Are you serious? You've won a bonus today. 250 tickets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Seriously? And I already gave here. I come in here and give you a quid each. Let's go. That's a quid and the winning Two hundred and fifty tickets. Oh my god. Look at us. I gave you just a quid. My last loose change to go and play some two P machines before we left Blackpool, and Lewis has hit the jackpot. Many tickets? 250. Well, that was many for Sister the Order, like, but. We're gonna have at least like 300, 400, because we've also got. On two bonus. quid? Seriously. Mine's only on a How did you manage to get the bonus? Because you have to get all the letters. Oh, butterfly, right? Okay. Oh. Okay. You need to get a picture of me. Nah, I know. Are you just gonna stick it? Oh. <laughs> Seriously, like, you can't go anywhere. You used to hear clearing out machines. It's ridiculous now, Lewis, isn't it? Now you're at it. Now you're at it, as long as your sister was at it the other day, now you're at it. Unbelievable. Here we go. At it again, the two of them. I tell you what, every time we come here, this week, you two have been clearing out the embassy with tickets, haven't you? <laughs> Fair play to you, is there? Have a good time, it's the most important thing. Always makes me laugh. Every time it makes me laugh. This is an interesting trip to the airport, guys. We're sitting here. Well, works behind me there, sitting watching. I don't know where she is. Uh, this is her. She's sitting watching something on YouTube. Well, this is over at the shop. But, just sitting here and who walks past? Some of the Bayern Munich football team. Um, not a full team. A lot of youngsters in the squad. I think maybe the squad's split in two. So I was checking their social media feeds to see if they were in the UK. But I saw a few faces that were regular. Uh, the likes of Sadio Mane and. and uh, Miller and all the employees there back, uh, hanging back still in Germany training because they're due to play Man City and DC United and over the next 20, I think it's 21st the LE tournament starts up with pre-season tournament. But there's a lot of the younger ones knocking about here on their, in their track suits. Um, maybe one or two regular first team players. So one of them had a look there. There's one or two I recognize, but this is the way we're trying to meet them. So he did so, but it's an interesting trip here to the airport today. Doing some of the bar minute team. This was like, oh my god, that happens. Mane's here. Mane's not here. Trust me, Mane's back home in Germany training. I watched them on uh, Instagram there, and I watched them on Facebook training. So if Mane was here, I'll get him to sign something. But he's not. Unless he makes an appearance. I'm kidding. I'm trying to get a photograph of a couple of them, like to see up close if I can recognize a few of them. But Lewis got a wee clip on his phone. 
you probably see it in his vlog guys I'm sold there's a channel go and check it out but yes interesting trip to the airport seen some of the paramedic team I guess maybe just a mixture of maybe one or two players come back from injury and I'm going to see like a 23 team or something like that but this is over there trying to wait to see someone coming to try and get some pictures and stuff so we'll just have to wait and see if he gets to meet them or not but all good so our flight's in about another hour guys okay? so I'm just going to chill out here have an hour of coffee and then have flight, flight for the flight back home so it's going to be an interesting time this just his photos he hasn't shut up for the last half an hour since he's seen them all but here's hoping it is some of the players here did recognise and maybe Lewis will get a photo or two our guys are some of the players there again. Don't know where Lewis is, but he was looking for something anyway. So, I don't know if it's a 23 team or whatever it is, but that's some standard boy. Well, he's a happy boy. Watch out, guys. Watch out. Happy boy. He got to meet some of the coaching staff of Bayern Munich. Now, it was the under 23 side. So, it was. Watch out, Lewis. And there's one or two ex players for Bayern Munich with our two. And um, we got a, a photograph of Lewis with the coaching staff. We're sitting having a chat with them. Nice people, weren't they? Really, really nice. Some of them were speaking German, and you looked at me and went, What that? <laughs> we'll I, don't, the... I don't speak your language, man. Uh, do you want to show the photograph now? Yes. Here we are, guys. This is Lewis sitting with the Bayern Munich coaching staff. Um, part of the help out with the first team, too, as well. So, good bunch of lads. So they do. They're actually behind Lewis now here at Starbucks. They're all over there. <laughs> um, but yeah, nice guys. So they were very, very nice guys. So, we met the, uh, the youth team, management team. Must be the 23s um, and one or two ex or one or two ex players and also um, ex players who are helping it with the coaching staff too as well. So bar all good news, bar mini team. No Sadio Mane though, or Lewandowski or Miller, but we hope they stuff Man City in the preseason tournament. But who else is in the tournament? DC United and I don't know about the 23 side who they're No idea, but they're here anyway. Nice bunch of lads, and we've got to speak to some of them too as well. Nice bunch of lads. So, right, Rick, we're going. Get time for the flight to get home. Yep. Happy days. <sighs> oh, well, boys and girls, this is the end of our trip, Rick. Well, overall review of the trip. Good. Yes, sad. Peter. Sad? Your trip was sad? Well, you're sad you're leaving, wasn't it, for your review of the trip, not there? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't bad. So... Time to on board the plane now and time to head home. Oh, home sweet home. Happy days. Home sweet home, young man. It's a few days later. I actually didn't get around to video in the end of that vlog. Um, I've actually done a couple of vlogs since. Um, I've done a vlog uh, the day after at football. I've done a vlog on the Sunday where I went to a music festival, which will be coming up on the channel as well. But I was getting, finally getting around to editing this video, traveling back home, and I thought, I'm going to finish that video. So here we are. This is the finish of the vlog. 
so yes guys we are back home oh tate my hands in shadow oh there we go um yeah we had a great time in blackpool it was great to get away for a few days um as you all probably know as i said a few weeks ago it's been a bit of rough rough time lately um a lot of things going on and i was kind of glad to get away for a few days to enjoy the sunshine and just have a bit of fun with the kids which is great um but we're home and we've been home for a few days now and it's we're getting back into normality again but the thing is guys when i got back home from blackpool i came home to an absolute disaster i asked tony to come around and obviously open up my windows because it was a warm day and you know get my house ready for me coming back and stuff like that there and his mum and dad were looking after the house anyway and tony came into the house to find a very weird smell and he was like what is going on in the house and by the time i spoke to him on the phone and by the time i got back from the airport i turned up at the front door and tony was like i wouldn't go in there for a while if i was you because your kitchen smells like there's a dead body in it and i went what my kit my fridge freezer had broken down and it had destroyed all the food in the freezer and you may as well say i practically cooked it because it was creating hot air in the fridge freezer and or the, the freezer and the fridge and all the food was manky and it was off it must have been off for like two or three days it was disgusting and we tried to get all the food out and get the fridge cleared and get the fridge lifted and it's been an absolute disaster guys the place stunk for at least a day we were bleaching floors cleaning things lifted the fridge outside oh my god what a way to come home so it's, but I've ordered a new fridge freezer. It's coming on Saturday. So I've been trying to. My, my neighbour's been so kind to help me um, with a couple of wee small fridges for like holding milk and bits and bobs. So I've been going to Tesco's every day to buy dinners. This has been a nightmare. But the new fridge freezer comes on Saturday. So it does. So it's been an absolute flipping disaster. So it has. So I'm having such a great holiday to come home to a broken fridge freezer. But there you go. That's what's been going on. But yeah it's a freaking disaster so I'm not, and the worst about it is though whenever me and dad were lifting the fridge freezer outside it actually caught my vinyl floor and tore a hole in the floor as well so it's just got one thing to the other but i'm getting the new kitchen floor anyway so i don't really care to be quite honest because i just put a man over it's up right up beside the door so you can't really see it but there you are that's what's been going on disaster but anyway guys guys want to go here now i uh, hope you enjoyed this video we're traveling back home we've had a great time in blackpool it was a great time stay tuned for the next couple, uh, vlog coming up um, it's a shadow with the sun coming through. There's a heat wave at the minute here. It's all over the UK. It's mad at the minute, the heat wave. Um, we've got a couple of vlogs coming up, guys, where we had to do the official stadium opening on Saturday. Cardinal Builders were playing Linfield. And then on Sunday, I went to a music festival with my friend. Uh, on Sunday, I got some clips there. It was a very, very, very good day, so it was. I had a fantastic day on Sunday. Um, stay tuned for that. And I also got uh some footage that i wanted to make a special video about and fleetwood remember a couple of days ago we were in fleetwood guys so a few vlogs before this we were in fleetwood around the couple of uh, an interesting store which sold all this really unique stuff and i wanted to show that in a special vlog plus we're also in a store that done like model stuff and brooke actually bought tony a gift out of it tony's favorite car um is low riders he loves low rider cars and brooke managed to get him a really cool model of a low rider so I got some footage from that shop in there as well. But this other shop that I found, some of the unique stuff you could find for your house was unbelievable. We even found a seven foot tall ruler for measuring people. Trust me, when you see it, it's it's, it's weird. But I'm gonna put that out in the next day or two as well. It's, it's, I thought, I'll keep that footage for an extra, an extra wee video for everybody. But, um, but yes, guys, thank you for all your support over the last uh, week or so. And we listened to all the videos that we've been sharing, all your messages on Facebook, the fan page, your comments, your likes, um, private messages, and then on Instagram, all your private mails have been unbelievable. They've been flooding in. And also emails too as well. And, you know, for everybody who's also been buying the Murami, Murami merchandise for this, the new range that we brought out, um, I got uh, an email back yesterday, I think it was, of all the stats that we sold some of the new merch. So thanks to everybody who's been buying all the, the new T-shirts and stuff. Um, appreciate it. So yeah, thanks for all your support, guys. Over the last month or so, it's been over well, the last month, well, six weeks maybe, seven weeks. It's been unbelievable. I really do appreciate it. But anyway, love me babbling on. Hope you enjoyed the footage from us traveling back home um, from Manchester or from the Manchester Airport. Where Lewis also met the Bayern Munich 23s team. Nice guys as well. So it was so overall, it was a great trip. Thoroughly enjoyed it, and in a way, I'm glad to be home. So.
but I don't, I want, I want to go away soon. We are going away soon, actually. Lewis and I are going away on the 31st to Liverpool for a game. So the Redmond Football Adventures channel will be coming up very soon as well. So it's going to be a little busy the next few weeks. A lot of great content coming out, so stay tuned, guys. It's going to be coming out thick and fast. And I've got a wee bit of an announcement coming up as well. Uh, I think I talked about it in the channel update video a few weeks, about a week or two ago, about a podcast. It is coming. Trust me, it's coming soon. And I'm also going to be appearing on another podcast as well, which I've appeared on before um, in August. So stay tuned for that too as well. I've been speaking to the organisers of that there. And I'm looking forward to being a guest on that. So there's big announcement coming out in relation to the podcast. I did say to you weeks ago that I am going to be bringing out more, more content and doing more better things for the channel. I'm trying to be more active as well with the social media too as well. I'm trying that now as well. And it's actually working. It's really, really good. It's good to see people communicate with each other too as well. This is great. So anyway, guys, not be bubbling on once again. If you enjoyed this video, where we travel back home from our summer holiday in Blackpool, drop a like in this video. Also, if you're new to the channel on YouTube, please, please, if you don't mind, hit the subscribe below and stick around for more videos on the channel. We're almost coming up to 2,000 videos on the channel. Can't believe it's been nearly 2,000 videos. It's insane. So until the next one, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.